Right, I am joined here by newly super featherweight uh, Katleko Kanyisa. Uh, big move to your new weight division. Yes, Hayden, how are you, my G? Uh, thank you so much for the warm welcome. I really do hope I'm going to be... The aim is to come to the new division and welcome myself in a very spectacular way, if I could say. Yeah, you're opening up to a whole bunch of new contenders as well. But first up um, from Malawi, uh, Romeo Makwakwa on May the 5th at the box camp. Um, just give us your thoughts about the opponents and uh, yeah, the fight. Um, look, man, I think on the, on the day of the way in, we actually met, never exchanged any words, just staring eyes and everything. And f unfortunately, we were the two fighters that didn't get matches on the following day, with mine pulling out and he's also uh, not being able to pitch. So it, I, I think it kind of made sense that we now meet because we were the ones that were there on the night. So it's promising that nobody's going to back down, I hope. <laughs> but uh, other than that, look, man, it's a blessing to be back again. Boxing Five always keeping their promise, keeping me active. Active. And hey, I'm the gym cat, you know, I'm always here, bro. That's one thing you know about me, without a doubt. Yeah, consistency is key, and obviously you're one of the guys that's obviously regularly in the gym, which means you're regularly on the on the fight tournaments. Uh, you get the opportunity straight after this one, so Larry Weinstein makes good on a promise uh, to you know put you in straight away, because uh, unfortunately, as you mentioned, your last opponent didn't want to get in the ring with you, didn't pitch up. But, I mean, going into this one, I mean, the intensity, is there something you could have added in the last couple of months since um, the postponements? Um, look, I guess the main change, honestly, would be the weight, because now we're dropping from lightweight to junior light, which is like a two, two kg difference. Yeah. But other than that, strategically wise, look, there's no video footage that I've seen of uh, Romeo. Um, there's a lot that they can see on my fight, so there's no reason that they shouldn't be prepared. Mm -hmm. But other than that, look, I'm always ready, man. You know me. And we're always working with Shannon, always working on st strategy, nothing changes, just improving on whatever we have. And that's still the goal, just to be the best in the division and just keep upgrading. What you leave behind you in the Gauteng, it was the Gauteng title in the lightweight division. Um, you obviously moved to the new division with new ambitions, new goals. Is there someone that you're aiming, um, are there a few names out there? You've never been shy in the past to drop a few names. And uh, you got one of them you got, which was Talent Beloy, and you, you managed to get through that one. Is there any new names in this new division? Look, I'll just go straight to the head, man. I know Asanda Kingley is the one who is the SA champion currently there, and that's who I'm going to be calling out. But obviously, I'm going to need to be rated first in that division before I can be seen as what's this as a prospect for the challenge. But you know, man, he's the only one that I'm seeing there because he's the one that's got the SA title. Other than that, the main thing is like getting rated, being highly rated in that uh, junior lightweight division. And, you know, Colin always has the best uh, intel, always has the best connections. So if not, there's always another way. You know. Yeah, no, that's true as well. And what, what happened? Did you and Caden treat to just decide to switch divisions overnight? Or, you know, that, that's obviously at one stage Caden was looking at prospects in the super featherweight division. Now it's you and now he's looking at the lightweights. What's, what's happening? How did you guys both arrive to the decision like that? Look, honestly, it was never a discussion that we, uh, me and Caden had. <laughs> it was just a spring of the moment thing. Yeah, and yeah. I'm sure you remember back when I spoke in our previous interview that now I have a sponsor which I'm going to really introduce who are now backing me, Results in Finance. Um, they're giving me the opportunity to like fully uh, indulge into the sports and give it my all, you know? So that's why I now have the big capabilities of dropping to a, a weight where I can be stronger and with all the backing that I need, whether it's supplement wise or whether it's just health, general health wise and not having to stress about a lot of things. So that was just a general personal thing that I wanted. I never, I didn't, I never want to leave, leave anything on the table. I never want to regret anything because I knew deep down that I can make a lower weight. Looking at Lerato, who is like height wise, not my height, but he's making featherweight, but we're walking around the same uh, weights. Not that we are the same as body structure, but it just shows that with more uh, dedication, you can get to what you want. And Lerato is one of the best examples for me that I'm in the hot box gym and trying to follow and trying to stick to and make sure I surpass at some point. Right, and I mean, that's absolutely, and you, 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 you're getting there as well. I mean, with every fight, you seem to be getting better and better and better. Um, this time, you've got a come forward fight, so who's going to try bring out something else in you. You know, he's going to be sitting on you the whole time. Do you expect him to be a tough challenge? Uh, look, every fight that I expect is going to be a tough fight. Look, with everyone, you know, whenever you ask uh, what measures do I have, I threaten everyone. I make them feel as if they're not going to be anything. But I know, I best believe I never underestimate any opponent. I 
take it as if this is going to be the toughest fight of my life, even if the person has no wins, no losses. I always get into the ring with the mentality that this person is probably the currently the best boxer in the world, in my way, and I need to get them out of my way. Yeah, I guess uh, mentally approaching the fight, I get you, like it's the mentality, and I think um, very similar to you, Ishmael Qadri has that same sort of opinion, um, every fight's like a world championship fight. Um, for you as well, just the new weight division as well, it's not just about you know coming in there and winning, it's also about looking good and feeling good while you're there. Um, do you anticipate um, feeling better, and uh, how's the weight cut been going so far? Oh, it's been going very well, hey? Um, so like I'm two kilos out and I'm two weeks out. So yeah. that's like one kilogram a week. Yeah. It's going to be nice and easy. But yeah, man, I definitely believe I'm going to be stronger in that weight division. Um, I've always felt strong in the lightweight, but like I say, I never want to leave anything on the table. So if there's an opportunity to drop lower, hey, might as well. You know, it's always a good thing to try and be a two-division world champion, three-division world champion, you know. Some people are fortunate enough to do five, six, but hey, we're not all in the same basket, so we're going to yeah. do what we can, and that's what I believe I have the capability of doing. One thing that your, your manager and trainer, Colin Nathan, did, did mention was that the change in weight division should also bring about more stoppages for you, potentially. Um, is that something that you've considered? Ah, uh, yes, 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 definitely, definitely. But, you know, like you say, a win is a win. But, obviously, we're in a sport where entertainment comes from the knockouts, you know? So, as much as we... The conception is that the more you go, the more power you'll have, but you got to knock the person out in a very skillful fashion. Right, yeah. So the skill is always going to be a very uh, higher level thing than the power. So look, it'll just go hand in hand. I feel like in that division, they'll just come together nicely. And moving up, I will have developed, I guess we, we can say the confidence of being able to merge the power and the skill and move on higher and higher in that perspective. Right, um, I'm going to ask you to send a message uh, to Romeo. If you could just be nicer this time, because the last opponent didn't pitch. So, uh -oh, what do you have to say to Romeo Makoka? Look, man, I've, I've ran out of all, like you say, I've ran out of all these, um, what's this, uh, threats, if we could say, per se. But main thing is that um, I really hope that you do show up. I know you were there. I know you were uh, heartbroken with, for not getting your fight. But, yo, this is the chance. Uh, come through. Be healthy, be strong. It's gonna be a, a cracker. So you know, you know, uh, Black Hat always comes and leaves it in the ring. So I also trust that you're that type of fighter. Come through. Let's give the people a show. Uh, probably get the best bout of the night. We can share. Let's. I'll do a favor. If we if we get it, I'll share the money with you. So come through. Let's give the people a show. Come through, everyone. Boxing Five, the fifth of May, uh, home of the box camp. Come see Black Hat Limyama against Romeo Makwakwa. That's what we're gunning for to be the fight of the night. Don't forget to vote. They all, uh, you can vote for which uh, you believe is going to be the best part and do so, do the most. Yeah, that poll's currently running up on Facebook at the moment, so get ahead and vote. You also stand a chance of winning 5,000 Rand as well. One lucky person's going to stand a chance of winning that. They've already issued the previous tournament's winner. And of course, but one thing you can't share is your belt. I mean, you, you can share everything else, but not the belt. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. You're taking the L. I'm taking the W. We'll, we'll split the money. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Katza. Uh, thank you very much again. And uh, obviously, we're going to be eyes peeled for May the 5th at the box camp uh, to watch you yet again put your dis skills on display. Um, anything lastly, any thank yous, any shout outs from your side? Of course. Um, like I said, I, I wanted to formally introduce my new sponsors, Results in Finance, who have been keeping me in great shape, um, making sure that they're taking care of me, feeding me, keeping me in good spirits, keeping me ready. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to show the performance that they've been grooming. And I want to thank the N12 twins who have been with me from day one never letting me go and look man the love is still there it never changes it's growing bigger and bigger the boys are growing bigger and stronger uh and yeah man i want to thank the fans thank you guys for always backing me believing in me trusting that i'll bring performances and i want to thank boxing five for keeping me active as often as they possibly can which is what counts honestly in this stage of our careers and i love that thank you uncle larry thank you um Angarias, Colin, Hayden, Boxing Talk, man, like Creed said, you're keeping us famous. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, man, where would we be? You know what I mean? So uh, thank you so much for that. And my family, my friends, everybody who's going to be coming to show some love, thank you too. It's all about you guys at the end of the day. We may be the champions, but you guys are the ones that make us the champions.